Hey girlfriends, I'm Meech. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to just hop right into this video. So a shout out to Delago for sending me this beautiful body wave hair. They sent me a 13 by 6 frontal body wave unit in 18 inches. Now they also sent me an elastic band to go with this wig. Even though I did not use it for this video, I'm still glad they sent it just in case I want to make this wig glueless in the future. And yeah, I am going to go ahead and customize this uh, frontal off camera and then I'm just going to get it on and we're just going to get right into it. So this is how the wig looks fresh after shampooing. I've already bleached the knots and I actually did not pluck this wig at all. How you guys see this whenever I start to um, put it on and cut the lace and everything is how this wig came. And I'm actually really shocked you guys because you'll see when I start to cut this lace, this is so natural and realistic and so beautiful. And also I love how it maintains its curl pattern even though I already shampooed it. It still has that body wave texture to it. So here I'm just cutting that lace off that I was talking about and I, as you guys can see I'm going in that zigzag motion. I'm not going to get super detailed in this video about the install because um, you guys have seen it a million times but I am going to talk about the cut a little bit more in detail in this video so yeah. Y'all look at how this wig just melts into my skin and it blends after I tinted my lace. I have not put any glue whatsoever on this wig. Where that lace is cut off, that's it. Like, I, this wig is so bomb, y'all. I'm not even going to hold y'all. So, y'all already know the routine. I just went on ahead and got that lace glued down. Y'all, I'm going to start doing a little bit more um, different type of videos on my channel because I want to be a little bit more personable with you guys. I want you guys to kind of get to know me for my personality. And I really dislike doing voiceovers because I kind of feel like a robot. And to be quite honest, your girl really don't have no sense. But y'all wouldn't know that because I always do voiceovers and I'm politically correct about everything, which is fine. But yeah, I just want to be a little bit more loose on this channel, if you know what I mean. Not ghetto or not ratchet, but just a little bit more chill. <laughs> a little bit more chill. So as y'all know, I had to hit y'all with the close-up as per usual because, you know, I don't want y'all to ever feel like I'm trying to bamboozle y'all. So I'm going to always let y'all know the real. This lace is melting into my skin. I have not tied it down or anything yet. Well, I have now, but at that point in the video, I hadn't, and it was already melting. So shout out to Delago for this bomb lace, y'all. Make sure you tint your lace as well. So after our little blow dry action, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to cut this hair. So what I'm just doing is I am going to cut it longer than what I think I want it. I will always recommend you to cut it longer than what you think you want it, period. Because once you start cutting, y'all know it's, it's over. You can't go back from that. So always cut it longer than what you think you want it. And then you can go back and take inches off from there. So that's all I'm doing here. And as you guys can see, I'm not taking any small pieces or anything like that. I'm taking fairly nice size pieces. And also, you don't want to take obviously too much hair. But use the pieces that you cut as your guide for your next piece. Um... And then another thing, try not to pull the hair down super tight whenever you're cutting it because that tension, when you release it, the hair is going to be shorter because your, your fingers are not going to still be holding it. So make sure when you cut it initially that you're not pulling it with a whole bunch of tension because then you're going to accidentally cut it shorter than what you anticipated. And again, as you guys will see right here, I've adjusted my scissors like two or three times going longer and longer because I do not want this to creep up and be shorter on me. So this way, it just gives me more control. If you cut it longer, you have more control to go back in, take a little bit more off, take a little bit more off. 
and also there's actually instead of two styles there's actually a third style that you can wear this wig as you can just leave it wet and let it air dry and have that wave to it I really wish I would have done that in this video now that I'm watching because I thought that would be so cute um, so yeah that's always an option as well and that's actually a lot quicker option that's probably like put your wig on spray it down and go So when you're doing your flip, you want to just lightly flip it under. You don't want your irons to ever be like vertical to your face on the hair because then that's going to cause a super tight flip. If you want that, cool, but here we're just doing a little soft flip. And as you continue flipping it really softly, then you'll get the look that you're going for. But if you're trying to force that flip, it's going to be super tight. And if it's super tight, y'all know how hard it is to get out. Remember when your mom used to bump your hair and she used to do it like super duper tight and it used to be like an old lady look? That's exactly how it's going to be, but the opposite direction. And you do not want that. So just do it with a light hand and it'll start coming it together as you comb the pieces down you don't have to force it or you know curl it super tight the opposite direction because it's gonna look crazy I'm just trying to tell y'all So this is look number one that you can do and I'm just going to take my scarf off and comb out my baby hairs to soften them up and this is that. So let's move on to the second look with this wig now. So for the second look, we are going to do the exact same thing, but we're just going to bump it in the opposite direction. And again, you don't want to do this and try to force the hair because you're going to have a super tight curl under. Girl, you're going to look like you just took out, you know, them soft rollers that your grandma used to wear, the spongy looking ones that clip together. I know y'all know what I'm talking about. But anyways, that's how you're going to look like you just took them out if you curled it super tight. So I'm not even really bending it at all. I'm just guiding my flat iron through it and straightening it out, y'all. And that's pretty much it. This cut is so versatile. Even if I change the part on it, I can wear it different ways. So yeah, shout out to Delago because even after doing all this and applying all this heat to this hair, it's still beautiful. I still have this wig on and to be honest y'all, this video was made before Halloween. If you go on my Instagram at Meech Nicole, you will see that I had this hair in when I was little Kim for Halloween. So yeah, thanks so much for watching y'all. I love y'all and I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you like to see in the comments below and God willing, I will see y'all the next video. Bye.